Hey y'all, it's Fines Girl, and welcome back to my channel. I found the most exciting thing that I have ever found at Dollar Tree in all of my years of shopping there. Um, I saw a video uh, that another YouTuber did um, yesterday, and it was somebody that packed Samaritan's Purse boxes, and um, she found something just absolutely wonderful. And um, I, first of all, I just about died when I saw her with it. And so, um, but then I checked and this video was posted four weeks ago. And I thought, oh, I'm never going to find that here. And if it had been here, I would have seen it and I would have gotten it. But anyway, um, I had to go do an errand for my parents who were out of town. I had to go feed their chickens. And so, um, I thought, well, should I go by there? Maybe by some miracle, I'll find it. Um, and so, um, my husband said, well, why don't you just go by there? And so I did, I went to the Dollar Tree closest to my house and I searched through the whole magazine rack or, well, the few magazines and the books and the kids books and coloring books and all that. I searched through every single rack, every single book looking for what this lady had. <clears throat> And it was not there. So, I was very upset. But then, I went and asked one of the managers if she happened to have seen it. And um, that maybe somehow I had missed it. I don't know how I could have. But I know that this will fly off the shelves. <clears throat> and so, she said that she just happened to see it in a box that day, yesterday. That they had just gotten their stuff in that... Um, a lot of times their stuff was slower to get in than other stores. And so she said, I'll go back there and find that box and I'll bring it out to you. And so she did. <clears throat> so this is what I went in there for. And I, I just about died. I totally just about died. I just wanted to scream in the store. I kind of let out a little squeal when I saw it and she had it. And so, uh, she took all of them out of the box. She picked out all the different ones and, uh, to see if I wanted all of them. Cause there are four. And so I said, yeah, I'll take all four. <clears throat> but can you believe that? Look at that. Look at those colors. Look at who this is. The Beatles. I love the freaking Beatles. I have loved the Beatles since I was a kid. I had I used to have a um, <clears throat> yellow submarine lunchbox in second grade. My parents had Beatles uh, records when I was a kid, and then when I got older, <clears throat> I started buying them for myself. So I have a big collection of Be Beatles albums and other things like books, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I was going to be so upset if I didn't find this book, and I got it. And this is the best thing I have ever found at Dollar Tree. A Beatles coloring book. I mean, can you believe that? Look how beautiful that is. That is absolutely stunning. And it's the Beatles. This is so cool. <clears throat> and I will show you what it looks like inside. It is, oh, it's, I love it. <laughs> it's just awesome. Total awesome. I just about mm, screamed. <laughs> I hope y'all can see that. I hope I'm holding it where you can see it. Would you look at them, the Fab Four? I oh gosh, I was dying in there. And uh, the the girl that the lady that got the box, she said, "Oh gosh," she said, "I'm gonna get these too." And um, so I went back in there today because my mom looked at mine and she decided she wanted them. And so I had to go back in and get two of the ones that she wanted. Um, <clears throat> but this is really cool. And I think they did it really well too. I mean, some of the facial, um, features and, um, expressions and things aren't quite totally, um, like the Beatles, but I think they did a good job with most of them. And this one of John, I really would rather they had put his glasses on. I think that would have been really cool. <laughs> But, um, 
Anyway, this is so cool. And I mean, they got McCartney there, but he's just, he's slightly off. Not quite, not quite perfect in that picture, but um, anyway, John's my favorite. <laughs> Always has been. And George is a little strange looking there, kind of, sort of, but it does look like him. And... There goes Ringo. It's funny, when I was a uh, small, small child, Ringo was my favorite. But then once I got to be a teenager and the hormones kicked in, oh my God, John was it for me. Mm, I loved him. And there they are. And actually, these little, most of these are like from movies and, um, um, album covers. Like there's Sergeant Peppers. Oh, this is so cool. Gosh, it was a, uh, I love it, love it, love it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Uh, I told my husband, I said, I just, I'm going to hoard this thing to death. I don't even want to color it. It's just amazing. And he said, well, you don't have to color. You can just photocopy the pictures and um, just color those. And so that's probably what I'm going to do. I really don't want to color it. But I will admit that I did get two. Because <laughs> in case I decide to color one and keep one. But I was so excited about this. And if you like the Beatles, you better hurry down there and get it. Because like I said, I went and back to the store today to get two for my mom. The two that she wanted. And I thought for a moment they didn't have any Beatles ones left, left. And then I finally found one for her. Now that was just in 24 hours. Um, they were already almost gone. So, I love it. <laughs> so, y'all can tell I'm very excited about that. Uh, okay, so there were four. And the next one they had was an Elvis one, which is really cool too. And, I mean, who doesn't like some of Elvis, you know? King of rock and roll. How could you not like Elvis? But, um, anyway, this one's really cool, too. It's just not as exciting, of course, as um, the Beatles. The Beatles just, uh, they do it for me. Love them, love them. So, anyway, that's what the Elvis one looks like. And if you'll notice, these are good-sized uh, coloring books, too. They're wider than the ones that they normally have at Dollar Tree, and they're squared. You know, the others are, like, rain, rectangular. <clears throat> so they have the Beatles, they have Elvis, and they have this awesome classic movie one. And um, I like this one a whole lot. Some of the movies, I think, aren't really truly classics. They were ones that were done in the last few years. I think they should have done some that were... A lot older, which they do have a few that are old. Um, and they have, you know, like The Godfather. And they have Citizen Kane. And some of these I don't really know. Um, like this one, I've never heard of that one. But um, <clears throat> they've got E.T. The E.T. one's pretty cool. And they've got uh, an old one, West Side Story, Singing in the Rain. they got Ghostbusters, Silence of the Lambs, Back to the Future. Um, these are really cool. But they got, like, Inception, and I don't consider that a classic movie. they got Taxi Driver, um, Interstellar, North by Northwest. These aren't really classics. Um, but anyway, it's a very cool book. Um, not as detailed as some of the others, but um, still very cool. So, of course, I grabbed that one, too. And then the fourth one in the series really doesn't fit in with the others. Um, so, I don't know why they decided on this. I think they should have decided to do maybe, like, um, popular TV shows, classic TV shows, or something like that, since they did classic movies and the Beatles and Elvis. I think it would have been cool if we had gotten um, some classic TV shows, but that's okay. I am okay with it, what they did because that Beatles one, that did it for me. But this one is called Get Out There, a coloring book to inspire explorers. So this one, as you can see, 
is totally different from the others. So I don't know why they came up with that, but um, um, it's more like a typical coloring book as far as the things that it has inside. Um, so it looks like that. Let's see if we actually have any. Um, I'm trying to see if we actually have any buildings. I don't know, but it's pretty cool too. So it looks like that and that. So you got <clears throat> a set of four. But like I said, if they had consulted me, I would have said uh, classic TV shows. So if you want these, get out there and get them because they will go quickly, especially the Beatles. So, I was very excited about that, and um, let's see, what else did I get? I've got a lot of good stuff, um, not necessarily all in this haul. Um, some of this stuff I got last um, week, but I've been waiting to show y'all. I actually have a lot of hauls that I've been waiting to show y'all, um, and I got something else that just blew me away. I actually gasped out loud when I saw this in the store. I'm going to take the plat, the, not the plastic, I'm going to take the paper off one of them so you guys can see. I almost died. <laughs> I did actually gasp out loud in the store. I'm glad nobody heard me. They probably would have thought something was wrong with me, but look at that in the fabric section. Can you see that? <laughs> Do you see that? Isn't that cool? Oh my God. Look at those bees. And it's burlap. You know what you can make with this thing? You could do, you could make like, um, you could make um, placemats with this. You can make a pillow cover, you know, a decorative one. It wouldn't be too comfortable to sleep on since it's burlap, but you could do that. You could cut a section and frame it. That'd be real pretty, like in a rustic frame. Um, Hold on a minute. What you got? Nova. Nova. What you got? Stop. No. Let me have it. No. Nova. Put it down. I have it. No. Mommy has it. Sorry, guys. She's got something. I have it. No. Get it here. Nova. Ugh. Aggravating. Witch. Anyway. This is beautiful, and I'm going to use that in my junk journal, my bee junk journal. It would actually make an awesome cover for a junk journal. That is stunning. So, yeah, I had to get more than one of those. I didn't want to be greedy and get every single one they had, but I did get... <laughs> I did get four of them. <laughs> so, yeah, I grabbed those. Um, let's see what else I got. Stop. I bought a garden flag. Um, it says home sweet home. Looks like that. I have a flag outside that someone sent me, um, through SwapBot, but, um, I thought I'd put another one up for a little while. Um, uh, what else did I get? I just got a couple of t-shirts to go in my boxes. I got this, uh, baseball style. Um, adult medium for a boy. I grabbed that. I grabbed this pretty, um, this pretty one for a girl. And it is, what is this? Um, is that small? Oh, extra small. So they had this type with, uh, kind of like the longer sleeves. So I grabbed one of those. Nova, where'd you put that? Give it back. I got a couple of new flower pots to put on my deck. I decided to go with the, the tur turquoise and the yellow. And so those going on my deck. Um, let me move some of this. I just can't get over this store lately. I mean, they blow me away. I mean, these, these. The Beatles. 
Mm-mm-mm. What else are they going to have? You know what? I don't mind paying that extra quarter now. Now that I've seen uh, what they are giving us. No, I don't mind. You can get up here. Okay. They also had this. And I picked this up yesterday, too. The, actually, somebody working in there, she had a couple, and she got she was getting off work, and she got in line behind me. And they have it, uh, I think they hadn't even put them out on the shelf. They still had them in a box sitting in the aisle somewhere, or uh, actually on the cart, so I hadn't seen them. But she had it, and um, she had another one. So I said, ooh, where'd you get those? And she said, she told me where she got them. And so she said, just take these, and I'll go get me another couple. Well, turns out... The other one was a lemon, lemon one, and it had a crack in it, and I took it back today, and they were already sold out of these in 24 hours. Look at that. Look! A watermelon! Look at this cool drink thing. Isn't that awesome? I love that thing. That is so cool, and you got a uh, cover for your straw. It bends. You got a cover for it. It's got um, the uh, rubbery piece around the outer edge so that it doesn't leak. It seems to be, you know, pretty sturdy. And you can also, well, untie this and um, tie, you know, drape it over your neck and walk around with your drink. Your drink in it, walking down the beach. <laughs> That's probably what I will do. I'll put my drink in that. And as I walk around and pick up the shells, the next time I'm going to have this around my neck. <laughs> so the lemon one, I told my husband, I said, you're going to have that. You're going to wear that one. And I'm going to wear the watermelon one. But unfortunately, they were all gone. So <laughs> I think he was, he was glad because he didn't really want to wear one. He wouldn't have done it. Oh, gosh. Where are you in my stuff? That girl has got my diamond dots from Hobby Lobby. And I don't know where she went with them. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> they um, also had this. I showed y'all the, um, the bee embroidery kit that I got. And the felt kit um, to make the beehive. And I'm going to put those in my bee journal. Okay. Well, when I went yesterday. They had a whole ton of other kits. They had a felt kit with a bee on it. So this is a totally different set, a totally different colored bee. And this is the felt kit. It's not the embroidery kit. So you get the felt pieces along with the embroidery pieces and the needle and instructions. Okay. Um, I picked up this one of this flower. And I picked up this butterfly. And I love this one with the little dog on the skateboard. And I love this one, too, of the bunny blowing the um, the dandelion thingies. Isn't that cute? He's blowing it, making a wish. And I got this one. This is, okay, that's an embroidery one, too, of the um, leopard. So this one... This one, this one, this one, and this one are all going to be given away in boxes. Because I think that's a nice little uh, gift to give somebody. And actually, if you know somebody that likes to embroider, um, it would be nice to pick up the whole set. I didn't get one of the um, butterflies. And... Um, There might have been one other one that I didn't get. I can't remember now. I know there was another butterfly. So, um, anyway, how many is this? Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm not sure how many they have. I have uh, eight of them. So, anyway. Um, but that would make a nice gift for somebody that likes to embroider. And it has all the pieces, like I said. Or if you got a kid that likes to make things that you think could handle this beginning level of embroidery, um, it'd make a nice little gift, put in a gift basket or, you know, put 
in a birthday present or whatever. But these were cute, so I grabbed those. I found another set of Barbie clothes. Um, I bought the set I bought before. I don't know if I've shown those to y'all yet or not. But they were different, and so they had another another kind in there and these sell for I think three dollars and something at Walmart and it's the same packaging same everything just a dollar 25 so I got that for a Barbie box um, since I couldn't get the lemon one of these since they didn't have any more I um, swapped it for one of the light up jump ropes and these are very cool I think um, feel kind of heavy duty and I think they run off double A's or is it triple A's? Triple A's. Two triple A's and you know that would be really cool uh, for some kid to jump rope after dark. A bunch of kids jumping a rope. I think that would be awesome. They have it also in blue and yellow but I decided to get this to go in a girl's box. And the last thing I got in this bag I got another one of those Wishkins. Uh, Jungle Fantasy. And I opened it up and it is so cute. Oh my gosh, it's cute. I got Shivers. And Shivers is a capuchin, cap, capuchin monk. I don't know how you say that. Anyway, that's what he is. <laughs> it's got his little facts on the back of the card. But look at him. He's so cute. His head moves, his tail moves. Let me put his little hat on, and he's a baseball player. He holds his bat, holds his bat, and this hand is out flat like that, and you can sit, well, I don't want to drop it, but you can, <laughs> you can set the baseball up on his hand. I just don't see that, you know. Staying up there very well, but <laughs> unless you glued it. But I think some little kid will have fun playing with that. And like I said, his tail moves around. His head moves around. Yeah, that's cute. Uh, now I'm dropping all of it. <laughs> okay, I'm putting it back in the bag <laughs> before I lose some of it. Anyway, I think those are cute. I like to have the whole set. Ah, now I can't close the bag. How was it where you, where you guys are? It was so hot today, I thought I would die. It was like 90 degrees in my car, and I was sweating outside. And mm, I don't like hot. If I'm in the air conditioning, that's one thing, but I don't like being out in the heat. Ooh. If I have, you know, if I go out in the in a pool or go out in the ocean or whatever, that's fine, but. Um, I don't want to be out in the hot. I also saw that same lady haul this bag, and so I looked for it too and found it, picked it up. That's for my superhero box. I think that's very cute. And let's see, it's just plain black on the side. Um, this was new to me. I think this is uh, new. It's uh, for my Barbie box. It's a Barbie Spot the Difference. And it's got great colors in it. Really pretty. I think that is nice and colorful. Looks fun for a little girl. So I picked that up. I think this one's new too. I got a Hot Wheels um, Big Fun Book to Color. It says So Fast. It's by that brand that I've been seeing lately, The Bending. And I got this to go in a boy's box. It's got little puzzles and games and coloring, you know, like they typically do. So, got that. I also got a Star Wars paint with water. Um, I want to do a Star Wars box, but um, I was thinking about the gun situation and... You know, you can't enclose that in something like that in a box. But this appears to be okay. I don't see anything like that. So, 
I'm going to use it and try to find some other things. I've got a Star Wars book, a hardback book that I got somewhere. But I don't know. I may not be able to find enough stuff. Um, I found a new I draw book. It's an intermediate and advanced, and it says forest. And if you know me, you know why I got it. I got it for myself. And see that little guy right there? <laughs> that cute little hedgehog. Yeah. I want to um, make some things for my um, Etsy shop. I want to make some digi kits. And I'm going to be doing hedgehogs. Doing whatever. And probably snail. Snails with snail mail. And the Actually, a hedgehog is probably going to be related to that, too. So, I need to learn how to draw them. So, I grabbed that for myself. <clears throat> and my next bag. Where's my next bag? Okay, I'll show you all that, that, that. Got one more I'm going to show you tonight. And, let's see. Actually, y'all have seen these, I'm sure. Everybody has. My mom wanted to get these to go in a, um, a box. So, she picked out the pink backpack. I got one of those. And she picked out this lavender one. So, I got that. And it feels pretty sturdy. I mean, you know, the zippers seem to be all right and everything. So, we, uh, I picked that. Got those two. And I picked up this because I thought this would be really cool. Um, it doesn't really fit my decor, but I thought it'd be awesome to paint and put it in a box. But you could also, you know, paint, uh, or you don't have to paint everything, but get a bunch of beachy things and maybe some hand lotion, body wash, uh, cologne, that are in citrus, beachy scents, if you know somebody that likes that kind of thing, which Bath & Body Works has a lot at the moment because I just bought myself some. Um, well, actually, I had a thing for a free one, so I went and got it. But um, you could make somebody a nice birthday gift or just an I love you gift or Mother's Day gift or um, just a gift basket for some reason, a thank you for whatever. But I think this would be cool to paint and put in my ocean box. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And I hit up the <laughs> I hit up the puppies in my pocket again. And I got this guy again. So I think that's three of those that I have. I'm beginning to think I'm not going to get any different ones. Um And I got that one. Little yellow one. These are cute, though. I decided to try... Whoops, I got one more. <clears throat> and I got this one. This one's different. I haven't had that one before. Little white one. So, he is a... What is he? I do not know because I can't read. Oops can't read that but anyway I got him and I decided to try I don't know where I put that thing oh gosh mm, I don't know but I bought two of the um, puppy friends club dogs with a Z house and it looks like that. I've already torn it open because you know, you guys know I can't stand it. I can't wait. <laughs> so I got this one. And oh, yeah, this is the one I have put the stickers on. So here's the little dog. It says this is a, oops, a, what is this little thing? I forget. Is it a corgi? I think it said it was a corgi. It looks like that. He's cute. And it came with this color house. And it had stickers, which I put on. 
and they didn't stick very well so i ended up having to glue them on but the little doggy goes in and so that's so cute i grabbed that and i grabbed something different this time they haven't gotten before i just want to see what it was like and it's one of the um my little pony my little pony magical mystery mini walker pony one in each pack it says movable legs for more pony fun and it looks like that my cat says that there's one called rainbow dash pinkie pie apple jack twilight sparkle and I have, I don't know about My Little Pony because my sons obviously didn't play with My Little Pony. And um, I don't know what, you know, if there are more of them, like on the show or whatever. But I got the Rainbow Dash one. And so, it looks like that. And it's little legs move. It's cute. Very cute. And it feels like almost like an eraser. I don't think it is, but it doesn't say that. But it does kind of feel like one. I don't know. Maybe it's not, but he's, he or she, whatever it is, is cute. So that's going in my um, um, probably in my um, horse box. Okay. And the last thing I've got here to show you tonight, I got some more cars um, to go in my Hot Wheels boxes. And I found one that is, um, oh my gosh, I can't read it. Hold on. <laughs> it says Matchbox. Uh, I think it's hamburgers. I don't know. <laughs> Let's look at it. Oh, I thought that one was cool, though. Yeah. So I grabbed that one. And I like this one because this is going to go in my um, fire truck, policeman, ambulance, any kind of rescue type vehicle box. So I found this police car. Um, this one I just got because I thought that this one was really cool. Look at that. That looks like a sweet ride right there. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And I found another one of the Batman cars. And it says, this is the Batman Forever Batmobile. Um... This makes the third one I've found. I didn't realize at first that they had this many. It says here two of five. So I think I have one, two, and four. But I have yet to find the other ones. And this is going in the superhero box. So that's pretty cool too. Yeah. And the last one I got I thought was awesome because it's like a food truck. It says hot chicken on it. It's a quick bite one. Looks like this. I'm glad that they have, like, themes now. I think that's really cool. So, yeah. That's cute. Look at that chicken. I love chickens. I love my chickens. They're so cute. Okay, so that's the last one. That's all I got to show you tonight. Um, the main thing I wanted to show you guys was the Beatles coloring books. And I say Beatles coloring books because I got two. And my mom wanted the Beatles and Elvis, and so that's two I had to go back and find for her today. Um, and I thought she was going to be disappointed because, like I said, I thought that they were all gone. But I did find one. So, um, if you want to get them, you better hop in there and... By all means, if you like this stuff, you better get in there for that, too. I think my store was already out of this as well. <clears throat> but anyway, um, I hope you guys have a nice evening. And try not to be too hot tomorrow. I don't know what the temperature's going to be here. But 
like I said, I do not like to be hot. I've got to um, go out of town and take some stuff to my son in college. Um, I'm probably going to do that Saturday. It's been Saturday night. Come back Sunday. I'm not sure. Um, but I hope to have a new video after this one posted for Saturday. Or it may come out on Sunday. I'm not really sure yet. Um, but yeah. So that's what I've got to do. And I hope you guys have a nice evening. And I'm going to get off here now. And I got to do some other things. So... Get that Beatles coloring book. You'll be sorry if you don't.